In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. This morning we offer this Mass for the soul, the repose of the soul of Path and Fedor Bernade and the one of Hugo Ramirez. Let us enter in this celebration by acknowledging our fault and so prepare ourselves to well celebrate these sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Judah approached Joseph and said, I beg you, my Lord, let your servant speak earnestly to my Lord, and do not become angry with your servant, for you are the equal of Pharaoh. My Lord asked your servants, have you a father or another brother? So we said to my Lord, we have an aged father and a young brother, the child of his old age. This one's full brother is dead, and since he is the only one by that mother who is left, his father dotes on him. Then you told your servants, bring him down to me that my eyes may look at him. Unless your youngest brother comes back with you, you shall not come into my presence again. When we return to your servant, our father, we reported to him the words of my Lord. Later, our father told us to come back and buy some food for the family. So we reminded him we cannot go down there. Only if our youngest brother is with us can we go. For we may not see the man if our youngest brother is not with us. Then your servant, our father, said to us, as you know, my wife bore me two sons. One of them, however, disappeared, and I had to conclude that he must have been torn to pieces by wild beasts. I have not seen him since. If you now take this one away from me too, and some disaster befalls him, you will send my white head down to the netherworld in grief. Joseph could no longer control himself in the presence of all his attendants, so he cried out, have everyone withdraw from me. Thus no one else was about when he made himself known to his brothers. But his sobs were so loud that the Egyptians heard him, and so the news reached Pharaoh's palace. I am Joseph, he said to his brothers. Is my father still in good health? But his brothers could give him no answer, so dumbfounded were they at him. Come closer to me, he told his brothers. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you once sold into Egypt. But now do not be distressed, and do not reproach yourselves for having sold me here. It was really for the sake of saving lives that God sent me here ahead of you. The word of the Lord. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. Remember the marvels the Lord has done. When the Lord called down a famine on the land and ruined the crop that sustained them, he sent a man before them, Joseph, sold as a slave. 
remember the morrow. They weighed him down with fetters and he was bound with chains till his prediction came to pass and the word of the Lord proved him true. Remember. The king sent and released him, the ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of his, all his possessions. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic or sandal or walking stick. The laborer deserves his, his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you. It will not it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for the town. The Gospel of the Lord, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, if you want to understand Jesus' instructions today for his apostles. We have to know that this list of instructions that Jesus says is found also in the Talmud, which was a collections book of Jewish traditions. At that time, on entering the temple, the Jewish man was to leave aside his belt and choose his bag and money before entering the temple. So it's like Jesus here quotes this list, applying it now not to the Jewish entering the temple, but to the apostles setting out on their mission. And these instructions are all about grace. The Jewish entering the temple leaves everything to one side to show that the relationship with God is not an ordinary business or commercial one, not a relationship like the orders we established with human affairs, in human affairs. The complete trust expressed, the complete dependence on God's goodness showed by letting aside all this list makes it clear that it is a relationship of grace. Freely you have received, freely give. Without cost, give, Jesus says to them. This morning, we can humbly look at 
our hearts in order to answer some key questions regarding our Christian faith. What do we have to give? And why do we fail to give freely? How can we give freely what we have knowing that after some time we are always tempted to be calculating in what we do for others. And our love is no longer free, but given conditionally. And we serve those who are helpful or good to us. And we serve those who support us. And we give our time and services only to our friends, our benefactors. Indeed, let us not forget that Christ's command is to give from what we have received. Personally, I want to retain that the best way for us is to freely give ourselves give ourselves to others and to give this message that God loves us, this message that God has opened heaven to us. That's the greatest thing we can do for anyone else. So may we all be ready to do that. Lord, I have received freely my family, my faith, my baptism, my education, and my way of life today. It is true that I have received everything freely, without asking anything from anyone. And what I have received freely, I feel I must communicate. In my spiritual life, Lord, May my heart be open to you in a total way so that I may receive your gifts and you as the living gospel. And as I receive you, may I in turn give you generously to others in my very person and in the field I walk, in the field I serve in this world. Amen. The power of forgiving is the sign of God's presence among men and women. Jesus, the fulfillment of all the Old Testament figures, lived a healing and forgiveness. And in the spirit, let us pray that nations may learn to walk away from fear into ways of understanding. We pray to the Lord that our local communities may overcome the sickness of prejudice, we pray to the Lord. That Christians may acknowledge past failings and all work together to build the kingdom of God, we pray to the Lord. That families may be healed of tensions and misunderstanding, we pray to the Lord that the sick that we know in our families, the sick that we unknown, and dying persons may be shown how much Christ loves them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of all the persons for whom we pray today, especially past 
and Fedor Bernadé, we pray to the Lord. And for our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, make us one with you always so that our joy may be holy and our love may, be, may give life to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the default so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore Joseph, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all who have died in your mercy. Remember your servants' past and Fedor Bernarde. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on the sick. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.